The negotiations to actually get Mkesho up and running took close to 18 months to thrash through the nitty gritties. Uh, and, and still there are, a lot of, uh, there are a lot of unresolved issues, um, but you know, the, given the fact that the CEOs are fairly committed to it, um, it, it, it helps. When you look at the lady on the top, and uh, Aisha had the TVC, but what happens in Kenya is that people have got peculiar places of hiding their money. And so this lady in the ad uh, puts her money inside her head and covers her head with uh, that we call a kitamba or a clothing for the head, a headscarf. And so it was about different places where we put our money. The guy in the shovel digs the ground to hide his uh, money. So every time he wants money, he goes back to the ground and gets it. And we are saying, why do we have to go back to the traditional ways of branding? Uh, other people are very good. In Kenya, it's very good to keep money under your mattress. It's, it's very common. And so we are saying that Mkesho is a new way to brand for me so I can look after my family. So it's all about either my family or my future. And it's more of a stickiness kind of way of saying that, why do you want to save money? So if you look at the kind of... Um, statements, they are more very futuristic because MKSHO is more of a savings product than a day-to-day -day kind of product. And so this has been running for the last uh, three, four months uh, on all mediums, that's TV, radio, uh, print, and also experiential because experiential in Kenya is the best way to do customer education whereby you, you teach guys on how to do things.